What's up, guys? So, uh, today I have an unboxing. I got a jersey from Ebbets Fields Flannels. It's a 49ers 1955 Joe the Jet Perry jersey. Uh, if you don't know about Ebbets Fields Flannels, they make mostly baseball jerseys, not MLB, though they do like Pacific Coast League, uh, International League, Negro Leagues. So, they have some pretty good stuff. They're based out of Seattle. And so, this is their box right there. And. You can go right there if you want to get um, any other stuff. Check it out. It's a really good company, though. I have had uh, I had one of its field jersey before back in, it's probably like eight years ago. A Satchel Page Kansas City Monarchs jersey, but I sold that one a while ago. So this is my first one in probably about seven, eight years. So I'm kind of excited to get it going. So let's see. Comes with this nice baggage. Ooh. Man. Ooh. <laughs> so this is a 1955 Doreen Joe Perry jersey. He uh this is the original time that they had this uh style jersey with the black shadow everyone thinks that 94 was the first year they did it but when they wore them in 94 that was actually replicating these 1955 jerseys. before i get too much jersey i'm just going to explain a little bit about uh joe perry a lot of people may not know about him uh, he played 16 years in the nfl 14 years with the 49ers and two with the baltimore colts um he led the league rushing in 1949 and led the league in rushing plus total and total yards in 1953 and 1954. Um, he's part of the famous million dollar backfield, which included him, Wyatt Tittle, Hugh McElhaney, and John Henry Johnson, which is the only full uh, backfield of four, all where all four members went to the Hall of Fame. Um, he was a fullback. He was also very fast for a fullback, which is why, hence why he got the nickname, the Jet. He was a very fast runner. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for his just a quick rundown of Joe the Jet Perry, so now we'll get into the jersey. Bottom, so you got the Joe Perry 1955 Pat sewn in nicely. NFL made in USA with the old school Niners logo right there. And this is a Doreen jersey, so this is 1955. So it's kind of it's like it has like a shiny texture to it. All right, go up here to our numbers. We got our double stitched white over white with the black shadow. Really nicely done. Come up here, you see we got our Ebbets Fields flannel. Pat Seattle, established 1988. XL, 65% uh, cotton, 30 or nylon, 35% cotton. Come here to the sides, you got your solid white, three solid white stripes. With like the shoulder, let's call it the shoulder pads sewn in. So they even added that just to make sure it was on point. Uh, if you see the pictures of the players from this time, you will see this. So it's great that they added that. Something I forgot to point out at the bottom, we got our little cut slit, whatever you call it, on both sides. And uh, unlike most football jerseys where there's the like the V-neck. This is just a, well, I don't know what you call it, round neck, <laughs> whatever, like a t-shirt, but that's how the jerseys were back then. Mm -hmm. Long sleeve as well. Almost feels like a hockey jersey, which is nice. Go back real quick. No last name. Um, they didn't wear last names back then, so you just got your 34 as well, double stitched. White with the black shadow. Stitched very nicely. As you see here, you can see the uh, the tag stitched through. Overall, just a nice piece to me. My girl don't like it, but I love it, so whatever. <laughs> I 
last part I forgot to bring up is the tags. So you have your NFL tag. So this is an officially licensed NFL item. Like I said, uh, Ebbets Fields got the licensing from the NFL to make their throwbacks along with Mitchell and Ness. And then it comes with this cool Ebbets Fields flannels tag. Gives you a little bit of history. 100% handcrafted, 100% American made with a picture of old Ebbets Field, which was unfortunately the Dodgers Stadium, but it's cool. And it comes with this. It's supposed to be like a ticket to a Brooklyn Dodgers game. Section 11, row 20, seat 32. Damn. So again, you could go to a game back then for $1.55. That's crazy. Uh, and the thing with Ebbets Field is they do take, uh, they make it when you order it. So it do, it will take uh, about six to eight weeks to get it. So just expect that when you order something from there. This is the jersey on me. It's a little bit big. Um, it's not too bad though. Um, I'm just scared if I get a large that it'll be too tight. And I already have enough tight jerseys as it is. Um, <clears throat> so I just do a thermal under and I feel like it uh, fits, fits well with the thermal under. Or as my uh, old teammate in South Dakota used to call it, a waffle shirt. But, um, so yeah, so it's Evans Field. Like I said, Evans Field has a bunch of great stuff. So you should check their site out, evans.com. Uh, they got a lot of jerseys, mostly baseball flannels, old school. Like I said, um, shirts, hats. I think that's the main, I think that's what they got. I don't know if they have anything else, but you should just check it out. They got some dope stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is, this is something that. I feel like I'm not going to, you don't see on a regular basis in 1955, old school 49ers jersey. Um, one thing I did forget to point out is it is a pretty thin jersey, just so you know. So if you do get one of these, the old school football um, jerseys, they are thin. That's just the way that they're worn back then in those days. So that's not a, a bad thing. Just pointing that out. That's just, so don't expect to get like a really thick um, jersey. So I'm just letting you know when it comes to the football at least. But overall, yeah, I'm super happy with this purchase. Um, really can't wait to wear it out to a game or something. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. Joe Perry, the Jet, uh, 1955, the original Niners jerseys with the shadow. So it's pretty much it for this one. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe if you're, uh, if you're not already. And have a good day. Thanks for watching. See ya.